Hi everyone! Today I am going to be showing you how to self-administer your vitamin B12 injections at home in your thigh. Um, I get vitamin B12 injections monthly because I have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Basically my body can't absorb the vitamin B12 that I get from my food. Typically it's found in things like um, meat, eggs, other proteins like that. And even though I eat those foods and take in enough of it in my diet, my body just can't absorb it very well. So I have to do these injections. And um, a lot of times people might get this if you're vegan or vegetarian, but I'm not. It just so happens that my body is really bad at absorbing vitamin B12. So if you have a vitamin B deficiency, you will go to your physician and it typically presents with symptoms such as fatigue or tingling in your hands and feet or other symptoms like that. There's lots of information online, but your doctor will draw some blood and do a test to see if you are deficient in vitamin B12. And if you are, you will be prescribed vitamin B injections to do at home. And so you get a vial here. Um, it's one milliliter. And then you also get your I am needle here that you use. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so vitamin B, it's an I am injection, which means intramuscular, so it goes into your muscles like a vaccine would. And a lot of times you can do it in your arm, but it's very difficult to maneuver by yourself, so I do it in my thigh. Now, when you're looking for where you are going to be injecting, you, first of all, pick a leg. I'm going to pick this leg this time around. And you want to go about halfway up your thigh. And not directly in the middle. You need to go a little bit off to the side, right about here, to make sure that you get it in your muscle. When you're ready to inject, you want to be sitting down and make sure the muscles in your legs are relaxed because you don't want them stiffened up when you insert the needle. And so just make sure, you know, you don't want to lift your leg up. You don't want to tense it up. Just let it relax and then pinch, not, not super tight, just a little bit. Pinch it a little bit to keep the muscle in place. And then when you're ready to inject, go right in there and keep holding until you take the needle out. Now remember, you want anything that you put into your body to be sterile. So we need to sanitize everything. Um, I have some alcohol wipes here, little squares that I use. And so you just want to open one up and then take your vial and pop the cap off. And then just take your alcohol wipe and make sure the top is cleaned off really good to make sure that there's no germs on there at all. And then when that's done, let it dry. You can take the same wipe and wipe off your leg on the spot that you're going to inject. Okay. Now that you have everything sterilized, we're ready to get going with the injection. So you can open up your needle and it has a cap on it. Take your vial. Once you take this cap off the needle, make sure it doesn't touch anything to keep everything sterile. So you just take the cap off and then draw up on the syringe here. You can read it one milliliter of air. There you go. And then carefully take the needle and put it into the vial through the little rubber part on the top and then inject the air into the vial. And then flip it upside down and draw out all of the solution. And there should be one milliliter in your vial. So once you get to one milliliter on your syringe, you know you've got it all, but you can also look through the vial and see how much you have and just keep pulling back on the syringe until you have all of your solution drawn up. Now that you have your one milliliter in your syringe, just push out the excess air until the liquid is all the way to the top. And you'll notice that once it's to the top, it'll start coming out of the tip of the needle. And we wanna make sure that we're not injecting air into ourselves. So just give it a few flicks to get all of the bubbles to rise to the top and then push it up a little bit more and keep doing this until all of the air is out. Now remember, we don't want to inject straight on top of our thigh here. We wanna go a little to the side. So make sure that your muscle is relaxed 
and then grab it and pinch it gently. And then you want to insert the needle straight down 90 degrees. Do not put it at an angle. We want it to go straight in. And then once it's in, you leave it, you first of all, insert the liquid, push down on the plunger slowly until it's all in, and then wait three seconds and draw the needle straight out. You shouldn't even bleed that much and it doesn't really hurt. So here we go, ready? So my leg is relaxed, I'm going in on the side, slightly pinching, and then one, two, three, and then slowly inject the liquid. Once you have pushed the plunger fully down, wait three seconds. One, two, three, pull the needle out, and you can release your leg. And it's easy as that. That's it. And now, give it a few days and your vitamin B levels will be up and you'll be feeling tip top. Just a little side note, everybody. Be very careful with your used needles. You do not want to stick yourself or especially anybody else with them. It is not a smart idea to recap your needles and if you ask your doctor, they can give you a biohazard disposal bin, a small one that you can keep, which you can put the needles in and then drop it off at the appropriate facility whenever it's full. Don't throw your needles in the regular trash can. That is dangerous for anybody else in your household and also for the sanitation workers. So please just be smart about your needle disposal and don't share them.